Good morning, folks. Hopefully you caught our special video last night. If not, it is linked for you below. Today we're going over why we'll be watching the sun a bit more closely the next few days and get some perspective surrounding the topic of the video of last night. Let's start with our star. And we find the last 24 hours was not exactly considered highly active. Certainly you can see wasn't exactly calm either. We have a large plasma filament on the north, the dark snake-like rope, and we have several active regions that appear anything but quiet. One near center longitudes on the south, and then the active regions nearer to the incoming limb on the left side appear to have enhanced magnetic complexity and higher eruption potential. Solar watch is elevated as we head into the weekend here. You can see several of those sunspot groups, and there are actually a couple more about to be coming into view over the next 24 to 48 hours, eyes on the sun. Folks, the UN climate crew is busting out the big costumes, saying it's no longer climate change, but climate boiling. They've discussed it for years. We all knew it was coming, but now it's safe to say they are about to begin the more extreme climate push that will eventually lead to major freedom restrictions, climate lockdowns, and much more. That was the idea behind our special video last night where I laid out how there really was no going back after their revelation on the ocean shutdown being on our doorstep. They can't say something like that and then not start firing shots. The world is about to get much more challenging for those with the eyes to see and those with an eye for freedom. So with that in mind, there is only one top article today from former NASA scientist Dr. Roy Spencer explaining his ongoing research into the urban heat island effect. One of the reasons they are able to say what they say, including their coming claim that July was the hottest month ever, is because more and more their temperature gauges are placed in urban areas with little to no control over nearby exhaust vents, sunlight reflection accumulation, and technological heat sources that skew the readings on that extremely localized level. The battle over the weather is about to begin. Facts versus feelings. Emotions versus motion of the atmosphere and the ocean. We greatly appreciate your support. We have lots of excellent resources in the description box below the video. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.